Yo, what's up guys? This is Midnight Wagon and welcome back to some more Destiny. And today what I have for you guys is a little bit of info on the Festival of the Lost, which is going on right now. It's going today through, I believe it's November 4th, but I know it's definitely after Halloween, but I'm pretty sure it's November 4th. But um, basically what this is, is you, what you guys will see here is there are these masks that you can get in the tower. Um, you get actually get a Grimoire card for for this festival. This is like a, this is like a, a event. It's like a weekly event type thing. I think it's still the next weekly reset, not like the one tomorrow, but the one after the next week, like the next weekly reset after that, the one after Halloween. Um, there's all kinds of masks, because you can see here. There's an Oryx mask. You have Skolas, Atheon. I got a, actually ended up getting a Crota mask. Um, there's a Cryptarch mask, like the speaker. There's even one that's like the Traveler with like the, just a big sphere for your head. There's Ingram mask. Like, like my friend has a legendary Ingram mask. The Cryptarch, if you go up to the Cryptarch, he's actually wearing an exotic Ingram mask. It's actually pretty funny. Um, it, it looks pretty cool in the tower. You can see the candles and stuff and like that kind of the atmosphere with like the little fireflies or whatever, like the sparks. It looks really cool. Um, you'll get a package in your post match. It's just like a Halloween basically event. Um, so... Basically, once you get that, you go to Tess Everest in the tower, and there's three new emotes uh, as part of the Festival of the Lost, and there's and there the treasures and stuff, that's all. So uh, the Festivals of the Lost, you have to get some silver if you want to get some of that stuff. Some of those dances are pretty funny. Um, then you go to Eva Levante or whatever her name is in the tower, and she's the one that you're going to get most of the stuff from. Um, you're gonna, you get a free legendary uh, mask from that. Like says, she just automatically gives you legendary mask. I'm not sure if it's one on each character. I've only I only logged in on my Titan. I didn't get a chance to do it on my other characters. Um, I just wanted to share, share this with you guys. So I didn't I haven't actually seen it on if it actually gives you like the free legendary one on, on each character. If it's just once for the festival, I'm not sure. But anyway, um, basically what you have to do you have to go to your inventory like right here, and you can see you can see it under my consumables. You will see. This thing, the Legacy of the Lost, and you get you guarantees you a legendary mask, and then there's other possible contents you can get too. And I didn't get some of those other possible contents. Um, you see right here, it makes me look like Crota. It's a Crota mask. <laughs> it's pretty funny looking. Um, uh, and I decided to since I was on my Titan, I decided to put on Glow Who, and it actually made me look like Crota. It was pretty funny. I thought that was pretty funny. It made me look like exactly like Crota. I thought that was pretty fucking funny. So I decided just to um, leave that in there, but. Anyway, um, that's basically it. There's some there's some quests you guys will have to do. Uh, the first step of it is wearing a mask. Go around the go around the tower and gather candy. Now, Eris gives you a fucking box of raisins, which is useless. It literally is useless. I swear to God, I think it's actually useless. She's like that douchebag dentist on your street when you were a kid that always used to give out toothbrushes and stuff for Halloween. That's like what Eris is right now. Basically, she literally gives you a box of raisins. It's like why? But anyway, you get candy. It looks like glimmer. But it's like it's like colorful glimmer, basically. Um, you have to fill up your candy bag by killing enemies in Crucible or Minions of the Darkness. Once you've done that, uh, fill up the candy bag. You bring it back to her, and she'll give you, uh, I think, a random blue mask or something. Or she'll give you another step to the quest. I think it might. Maybe she gives you another step. I can't remember. But. Um, Anyway, there's like multiple different things. Wearing, if, while wearing the Atheon mask, you have to fall off the tower, like push yourself off the tower. It's like a making fun of how people used to cheese Atheon all the time and like push him off the cliff. You should, you should just, you should, you have to actually push yourself off the tower as Atheon. Um, as the traveler, you got to do, I think, Court of Oryx stolen runes. Um, with the Crota helmet that I have on right now, you have to get five sword kills in Crucible with the Crota helmet. And there's some other ones as well that I can't quite remember. I think the Crypt Arc one, you gotta do something as well, but, um, I can't remember exactly what it was, but you can see, uh, you get three different quests from this, so it's pretty cool. The whole thing is, I think it's pretty cool, um, but definitely, um, the one thing you guys should know is those, like, upgrade materials, like the glue and the paper, whatever, and stuff, is used to upgrade the blue masks into legendary ones, and the blue masks, it'll say, expires when Festival of Lost is over. Legendary masks you get to keep. So those are like basically for like I don't know like later on just proving that proving that you were part of this event and stuff you get to keep them just for fun maybe for crucible and stuff since it doesn't since level doesn't matter in crucible you get to keep them um, maybe they'll be able to do something with them later on and get like an exotic mask I don't know maybe there's a quest for that that actually does has like perks on it and stuff and has a defense value maybe I don't know but anyway 
Hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please be sure to leave a like and a comment down below. Subscribe if you have not already uh, for more Destiny content. Um, I was going to upload, actually, there's a really easy strategy for hard mode Oryx that, I, that, has, that was discovered, and I was going to share that with you guys. I'm going to share that with you guys tomorrow because I figured this was kind of more pressing for today because this is like the first day this came out and stuff, so I figured I wanted to get this out as soon as I could for you guys. So if you... If you guys are excited for that Oryx strategy guide, then definitely leave a leave me a uh, like down below and subscribe if you have not already for more Destiny content. And I will talk to you guys tomorrow. And go out and get those masks. Some of them are pretty funny. You got you got to check out like some of the new dances and the masks and stuff. Just the Skolas one's hilarious. You got to see them. But anyway, hope you guys did enjoy, and I'll talk to you guys later. Peace.